हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन आर क्लास टुडे आफ्टर द हॉलीडेज ऑफ रक्षाबंधन एंड ईद आई होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड द फेस्टिवल एंड आल्सो यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम टुडे वील गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट आफ्टर द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो चिल्ड्रन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट चेक पॉइंट राइट ट्रू और फॉल्स फर्स्ट वन चेंजिंग वेदर कंडीशन कॉज सीजन द आंसर इज ट्रू सेकेंड पॉइंट प्लेसेज नियर द पोल्स आर हॉटर दैन प्लेसेज नियर द इक्वेटर एंड द आंसर इज फॉल्स थर्ड पॉइंट द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ प्लेस डिक्रीजेज एज द एल्टीट्यूड इंक्रीजेज एंड द आंसर इज ट्रू फोर्थ पॉइंट winds blowing from cold regions make a place hotter and the answer is false children you can check your answers from here of check points read and answer a tick the correct answers first one the conditions of the atmosphere at a given place and time is called and the options are a season B climate C altitude D weather and the answer is A seasons second point the sun's rays fall directly on the areas near the and the options are A north pole B equator C south pole D antarctic circle and the answer is B equator third point the water vapor or moisture present in the air is called and the options are a rain b humidity c cloud d dew and the answer is b humidity fourth point it is hot and humid throughout the year in the and the options are a temperate zone b frigid zone c torrid zone d mountains and the answer is c torrid zone children you can check your answers from here of tick the correct answers b fill in the blanks first one the dash of a place does not change over a long period of time and the answer is climate second point the world is divided into dash major climate regions and the answer is 7 third point the rays of the sun become dash as one moves away from the equator and the answer is slanting fourth point places near the coast have a dash climate and the answer is moderate climate fifth point the dash zones remain cold all the year round and the answer is frigid zone children you can check your answers from here of fill in the blanks c answer these questions question 1 why do places near the equator receive more heat than those near the poles question 2 write the difference between a weather and climate b moderate climate and extreme climate question number 3 why does chennai have a moderate climate question number 4 how do winds influence the climate of a place question number 5 describe the climate conditions of each heat zone now the answers are as follows question 1 why do places near the equator receives more heat than those near the poles answer the vertical rays of the sun fall on the surface of the earth near the equator spread over a small area the rays become slanting at the poles which is away from the equator thus the places near the equator receive more heat than those which are away from the equator question number 2 write the difference between a weather and climate 
and the answer is weather first point it changes every day second it gives rise to season third it is for short period of time climate it is not change every day it influence what we eat where even the types of houses we live in third it is for long period of time b the difference between the moderate and extreme climate moderate climate it is neither very hot in summer nor very cold in winter second point it is generally found in coastal areas extreme climate first point it is very hot in summers and very cold in winters it is generally found in inland areas question number 3 why does the chennai have a moderate climate answer chennai have a moderate climate throughout the year as it is near the coastal area it is neither too hot nor too cold here this is due to the effect of sea breeze which blows from sea to land making the land cooler question number 4 how do winds influence the climate of a place answer winds influence the climate of a place by blowing from hot regions increases the temperature while blowing from cold regions decreases the temperature winds blowing from the sea make the lands cool and moist and also sometimes bring clouds and cause rainfall question number 5 describe the climate condition of each heat zone answer the earth is divided into three heat zone torrid zone the torrid zone or the tropical zone lies on both sides of the equator between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn the direct rays of the sun falls throughout the year makes the climate hot and humid second is temperate zone the areas lying between the torrid zone and the frigid zones in both the hemispheres are called the temperate zone it is neither very hot nor very cold here as these zones are away from the equator and also from the poles third one frigid zone the areas lying between the arctic circle and the north pole in the northern hemisphere and the between the antarctic circle and the south pole in the southern hemisphere are the frigid zones these zones receive slanting rays of the sun it remain cold throughout the year here we ends up with the exercise part of this chapter see you in the next class